Drive Workstation started as a concept. Now with construction more than 90% complete, the plant is moving into commissioning and startup. That means Basin Electric is taking over certain areas of the plant, getting ready for the plant to start up. About 60 Basin Electric employees are working on site, with about 20 of them working right here in the admin building. The front desk in the lobby has a friendly face, and the training rooms and lunch rooms are fully functional. Although Dry Fork Station looks and feels close to complete, Operations Superintendent Joel Dingman is focused on a big job, commissioning. It takes a lot of coordination to ensure that uh, not only is a mechanical piece ready, but the electrical side is ready in a timely fashion. During the commissioning phase, a blue ribbon or tag means this section of the plant is now under Basin Electric control. It's no longer part of construction and controlled by the contractor who built it. Well, that's how we signify to the contractors that they are no longer doing work on that piece of equipment unless directed by the commissioning group. This room is the distribution system for the main turbine generator and boiler building. As we get wires pulled through all the table trays and uh, pulled into the buckets and the distribution system that's internal to the plant site, we're slowly getting uh, equipment off of that construction power and using the power off the grid to, to uh, help us keep uh, moving ahead. Dingman says the blue tags are important for coordinating schedules between contractors and Basin Electric employees and for safety. There's still a lot of buckets in the motor control centers that are not completed. So it's important that we maintain control of the equipment the feed from this to there so that contractors can continue to work on that portion of the system and yet we can commission this portion. The pumps and motors under Basin Electric's control are monitored from a temporary control room. The permanent control room is still under construction. Today, control room operators are watching the turbine lube oil flush. We're pumping oil at about 2,000 gallons per minute through the entire lube oil system to flush it and uh, any impurities that might be in there. Oil will flush through the system for about a month. Once complete, the oil will be drained out and sent away and fresh, clean oil will replace it. Once we're satisfied that that's reliable and dependable, we'll put the turning on what's called turbine on turning gear. We'll turn it at about three RPM, three to five RPM constantly from then on until we start it up. The Water Demineralization System, or DEMIN for short, has been considered fully functional since the end of June. Now it's being commissioned. All along the line we take water samples and do chemical analysis on the water to make sure that each piece of equipment is doing what it needs to do at the right step. Jeremy Dvorak is a lead lab tech at Dry Fork Station. Basically our goal here is to take water out of the ground from a well and clean it up so that it's uh, pure to send to the boiler. The boiler requires uh, super pure water. If you don't, the boiler and the generator and the turbine are going to break in short order. Because the demon system takes water from three wells 4,000 feet deep, the water is actually quite pure to begin with. The water comes into the tank you see here, just beyond the wastewater pond, and then heads into the water treatment building for demon. Any wastewater flows back to this pond, where it is stored for use in other areas of the plant. At the Dry Fork Station, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.